Hello, everyone. I'm Tanya Rivera. Welcome back to CBSN. President Biden is ramping up the supply of COVID-19 vaccines in order to inoculate the country as quickly as possible. But his administration faces several hurdles, including hesitancy among Latino communities. A recent poll shows nearly half of Latinos in the U.S. will wait and see how the vaccine affects others who receive the shot. Only 26 percent say they will definitely get the vaccine when it becomes available. Available to them. Latinos in the U.S. are disproportionately impacted by COVID-19, but a long history of medical mistrust may be stopping some from getting in line. Iris Lopez joins me now. She is the director of Latin American and Latino Studies at the City College of New York. She is also a professor of sociology. Professor Lopez, welcome. Great to have you with us. So we know that <laughs> Latinos have some of the highest COVID cases and death rates in the U.S., we also know that this vaccine is safe. So why are more than 40 percent of Latinos hesitant to receive this vaccine? What specific concerns do they have? Well, I think that there, it, there are a diversity of concerns, uh, and it really does depend on the community that we're talking about, whether uh, we're talking about immigrants, uh, the elderly, students, uh, you know, it, it, it really does vary. For example, immigrants, uh, their concerns may also vary depending on whether they, they are uh, documented or not. And of course, fear of deportation, fear of going to hospitals. Um, the idea that you need to have health care in order to get this vaccination, I think, is something that might stop some people uh, from going. And something as simple as not having a computer or not knowing how to use a computer to make appointments could be another factor. Uh, I know that this is true for the elderly and some immigrant populations. Um, I think that there is sure. a lot of skepticism also and, uh, and, and fear that, that the vaccination hasn't been tested for a very long time. Uh, and there's some legitimate concerns around that. Uh, but also, I think that uh, the fear comes from people's experiences with the healthcare system today and, and some of the things that they know about, the studies, the experiments that have been done, for example, among the African-American population, the Tuskiski study, and among Puerto Ricans, um, the, the testing of the birth control pill. I mean, these are, depending on the generation we're talking about um, and people's experiences, you know, th there are a variety of different problems that we have to look at. And right, address. yes. For, I agree. And so for our, our viewers who aren't familiar um, about this history of deception in the medical world in the 1950s, Puerto Rican women were given an experimental birth control pill without knowledge that was part of a clinical trial to bring the pill to the mainland. Can you walk us through the effects that trial had on women involved and the generations of, of Puerto Rican women after that? Oh, absolutely. Um, I mean, I could spend a lot of time talking about this, but I'll try